Good evening. Tonight I will be sketching absolute value functions. The first one will be y equals absolute value of f of x. The next one will be y equals f of absolute value of x, which is a little bit more uncommon, but I'll do it anyways. Um, so let me get started with uh, y equals absolute value of f of x, and I will graph it in blue just so there's no confusion as to what graph is what. <laughs> It'll make more sense, trust me. So, what is the absolute value? Basically, the absolute value just switches every negative number and makes it positive. So, that will work for the y values of the function. So, starting right here, this looks like about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, negative 7. Negative 7 will become actually positive 7. Let me see if I count it right. I think it's right here. Okay. So basically the bottom part of the graph gets reflected upward. So initially I had just this part, it just gets reflected upward. Um, okay, what about this? What about this part of the graph? All these values, at least the y values, are positive, and they're going to remain so. So in fact, they're not going to change at all. So I'm just going to draw the blue line over it, right there. And OK, what about this? This is a negative 1 here for y. Absolute value of negative 1 is positive 1. Therefore, this part of the graph is going to get reflected upward. And then finally, oops, I just made a little unintentional dot here. And this part of the graph will remain the same as well because the y values are also positive. There we go. So we just sketched uh, y equals the absolute value of x. And I'm just going to make a blue box over it so that leads to no confusion. And um, OK. Now I'm going to graph y, is the, uh, y equals f of absolute value of x. And I will do that in red so there's no confusion as to what is going on. Okay, so this is basically, again, the black one underneath here was y equals f of x. What happens in this case is that um, we're going to ignore and just basically forget about everything to the left of the y-axis. So all these values here are not going to matter at all for this function right here. So, but basically everything that's to the right of the y-axis is just going to stay the exact same. So here and there, that won't change at all. And um, note that this va these values right here that are negative for y are going to remain negative for y. It doesn't matter. However, this will reflect onto that side. Hmm. So for example, if I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 here, that will become negative 6 right there. Let me see if I count. OK, counted right. Negative 6 is right here. It gets reflected that way. And then this value is 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12 over this way as well. Hopefully I counted right. And that's it. This is the f of absolute value of x function in red. Um, I hope that made sense, and in other different videos I will explain why this happens. For now, I will keep doing more examples so that it makes sense. Um, all of this makes sense to everyone. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed it.